So you know when you make one of those cards, the one of those interactive cards, and you can't stop playing with it? Yeah, that's what this is. <laughs> Hi, it's Julie. Welcome. I'm going to be making a card that lights up today, and I'm going to be working with the Essentials by Ellen So Matcha Stamp and Die Set. This is a really sweet set that I was inspired to illustrate after a trip to Japan a couple years ago to visit my daughter and her family. Now, as luck would have it, I had many of these images already stamped and colored in. All I had to do was die cut them for this project. And I did black emboss the little paper lanterns onto um, one of those beautiful pieces of washi paper. I love washi paper. It has such a beautiful texture. And you can see here that I've got all my components. And the things that I had colored in previously, they happened to match the colors in this washi paper. So I was like, oh my gosh, this was like providential. <laughs> So this is going to work out great, and these are all the components I'm going to be working with to build my scene. Now, I did want to mount this to a white base card, and I decided I wanted to have a matte layer. So before I do anything else, I'm just going to go ahead and trim off about one-eighth of an inch around uh, both the short ends. And then along the bottom long edge, I will trim off a quarter inch so that I have a nice border. And I did want to show you more of a close-up here of the paper lanterns on this gorgeous washi paper. The great thing about washi paper is it's translucent. And so whatever's behind, that light behind it is going to shine through. And it's a really pretty effect. So I'm just planning my scene out here. I've got my two little girls. And I wanted to make some pencil marks where I want to have the lanterns hanging in the bamboo forest. See, the girls are out there for an evening stroll and the bamboo forest is all lit up. It's kind of magical. Now I've got uh, those holes marked. I'm gonna grab my needle tool and I'm just gonna pierce them. You can use a 1 8 inch punch or a 1 16 inch punch, um, whatever works, but in case it, you know it's not a long reach, you might end up having to grab you know, a needle tool or something of that sort to poke your holes through. And I'm just going to work these a little bit because I want to make sure that they're going to be large enough to accommodate the lights shining through. They're really tiny, but they shine like they've got some really good shine to them. You know, they're pretty bright. So now that that's done, I got to this point and realized, oh my gosh, I don't have a sentiment on here. So very quickly, I grabbed so I grabbed, I love you so matcha. Matcha is green tea. That's why this set was called so matcha. <laughs> And I love green tea. I love green tea lattes. I love green tea ice cream, green tea cookies, green tea cupcakes. I love everything green tea. <laughs> now I've got my pack of lights here. And these come in different assortments. So you can get them within a two pack or a three pack, a five pack. That's what I've got right here. And you just snap them apart. And this is the battery housing and it has the LEDs already pre-wired and attached to it. And then it also comes in the kit. You also get um, a battery for each one of these sets. So I've got five batteries and five light sets. Now you want to insert that battery. When you look closely here, there's these prongs. These are going to make the electrical connection and you want to slide the positive side of the battery against where um, it has that positive showing on those little prongs. And then I wanted to show you that these lights really are tiny and the yellow side is actually the light. The uh, green part on the back does not light up. It's just plastic housing. But there when you press the button, you can see the circuit is complete and that's all there is to it. So all we have to do at this point is put our lights where we want them. So I'm just kind of separating the three strands a little bit so I can work with one and get that um, inserted into that hole. And I'm just going to use some uh, cellophane tape, clear cello tape there on the back. And I was a little bit worried that the LED would twist on me, like the wires would um, kind of twist the light around so that the back side would flip. <laughs> And so I wanted to avoid that. Now, maybe that doesn't happen, but I was like, you know what? I'm just not, I'm taking extra precautions. So I added a little bit of cellophane tape to the front side of the LED um, to make sure that that's the side that stays um, facing out and through that opening there. And the tape is not going to hurt anything. These LEDs do not get hot or warm. So it's not going to hurt anything if you add the cellophane tape. And then you want to make sure on the back side. You're adding additional tape to make sure that that wire stays anchored where it needs to be. So I'm just going to get all three of these set up exactly where I need them to be. 
And now to finish off in the back, you want to make sure that you coil up the wires. Don't bend them sharply or you could crack the blue and the blue and the red is like a housing that contains the copper wiring in there and you don't want to mess that up by sh bending the wires sharply. So you just want to coil them loosely back there and then I'm just going to use more scotch tape um, to anchor them down. And I've got the battery housing flipped so that the logo is facing me. So the button is going to be pressed up against the back of the card front. So when you flip this over to the other side, then you'll see that the button is on that side. And when you press, and I did not put a button indicator on there, but I'm probably going to write a note inside the card that says, you know, watch this card light up when you press the word matcha, because it's positioned right behind the word matcha. So I'm going to take some double-sided uh, tape. Now, I didn't have any already pre-made, so I had to make my own. And I'm going to take this quarter-inch wide uh, foam tape and just fold it on itself together, and that will give me double-thick tape. And then I'm also going to put some uh, that Be Creative tape there. It's a half-inch wide. You could use you know a couple strips of the quarter-inch, whatever you got. You could use glue dots if you wanted to. But I'm getting that ready to go because I'm going to anchor all of this to the another panel that's going to get mounted to the base card. So I'm going to go all around the perimeter with this foam tape. But I wanted you to see here exactly where I put the foam tape. And you can see down in the lower left corner there where the battery housing is, I've left a gap. And there's a reason for that gap. Now I'm just going to lift that up and uh, show you when you flip that over, there's the front side and that's gonna get pressed against the back of my card front. I also wanted to show you a trick that I learned from Amanda. She took a piece of cardstock and she slid it in there and so it creates a stop that breaks the circuit. So if you wanna mail this card, you might wanna put an insert in there and then write the word like remove there on the bottom of it so they know to pull that out when they receive the card. And that way it won't get pressed on and it won't wear down the battery and then the light doesn't work when it reaches its final destination. So now I've pulled back all the paper liners there from my adhesive. I've got a couple there at the perimeter there that I've left um, hanging out. So I have just like a little bit of handles, you know, to help me keep that piece of cardstock. Now this is just a quarter sheet of Nina Solar White that I trimmed down so it's slightly smaller than the green panel so it won't show on the opposite side. I find it's a lot easier to mount everything in that way. And then I can take the whole thing and mount that to my base card. I did put some little bits of foam tape on the top and the bottom of each lantern. And then I'm gonna layer those right there onto um, the card front. And there I'm just pressing on the word matcha and it's lighting up the little lanterns. <laughs> it's so much fun. Okay. Okay, let's get back to business now. I'm going to add some tape adhesive there to the back of that whole contraption there. And like I said, you know, if you wanted to, you could. there are other ways you could mount this to your base card. But for me, it's kind of a lot like making shaker cards. I just like to put a, a lid on the back, and it just makes my life easier. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove all the liner tape. I always like to use partial until I'm sure that that's where I want it to go so I don't destroy the card if I have to take it apart. And then I'm going to get my little girls mounted in place and the card is finished. And of course, I had to test it out. I ran around and uh, tur turned off the lights so I could come back and play with this thing. And it's so fun to see how it lights up. I seriously cannot stop playing with this card. Honestly, this was so easy to put together and I just think it's darling. I can't wait to send it to my granddaughter. I think she'll have a lot of fun playing with it. I hope this inspires you to make some light up cards. And thanks for watching.